What is going on guys? I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome back to another Zombies video on the channel where today we are looking at two different bosses in Zombies. We are comparing both of them. We are doing a boss versus boss to see who comes out on top. And today it's going to be the Magwar versus the Panzer Soldat. As always, if you go on to enjoy today's video, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest Zombies content on the channel. And of course, without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. So I was just looking through the comments of my videos the other day, and someone said, who do you think would win in a fight, the Panzer or the Mogwar? And this gave me an idea. I thought maybe it'd be cool to actually make a series or just a bunch of videos of boss versus boss to see which one ultimately, in the end, comes out on top. I mean, maybe we'll just do this one. It's up to you guys. But if there's any bosses or maybe even characters that you'd like to see go head to head, leave them in the comment section below. And maybe if you enjoy this, we can do more. But like I said, today we are doing the Magwar versus the Panzer Soldat. Which one of these is stronger? Which one of them is harder to beat? Which one of them is more advanced? Which one of these would not only win in a fight against us, but each other? So of course we have a few different versions of these bosses. We have the normal Magwar in Shadows of Evil, but we then also have the elemental Magwar and the Fire Magua. And it's the same for the Panzer. We have the original one that we get in Origins, and then we also had a slightly different version in Dreisendrache. But in this video, just to make it easier, we're going to be comparing the originals. So beginning with the Panzer Soldat, which in German means tank soldier. It's a pretty cool name. This is basically a zombie inside of a armored suit. The Panzer Soldat has two different ways of killing you. He has a flamethrower on one arm and a rotating claw on the other. Not only that, but he also has a rocket pack on his back and also smaller rocket thrusters as well on the back of their boots that he uses to launch himself into the map with. So as I said, his first attack, which is the flamethrower, has, I would say, a medium to low range. It really can't get you if you're a reasonable distance from him. But what's so annoying about it is if he does hit you, it's going to deal you pretty moderate damage. But the worst thing about it is that it basically means you're not going to be able to see anything. The flames impair your vision. It's really quite difficult to see what you're doing. But more than anything, I'd say it's just annoying. The Panzer also has a powerful melee attack, which if you don't have Juggernaut can down you in one. If you do have Jug, then it'll down you in two hits. He's rarely going to hit you with this attack though, because usually you won't be close enough to him for him to do this. And the third and final attack of the original Panzer is his rotating claw. This is probably the one you have to look out for the most. You've got to make sure you're dodging him and not standing still. It's kind of like his long ranged attack. He will shoot out his left arm where he will grab the player. And then when you're grabbed, he will pull you in. And then when you're close enough to him, he's going to attack you with the flamethrower, meaning you're more than likely going to get downed. Also, while you're being pulled in, you can be attacked by the zombies as well, if there's any around him. However, it is possible to free yourself if you just shoot him, but it's a lot easier said than done when this is happening to you. Like I said, there's also a slightly different version of Group 935's Panzer in Derizen Dracker. This one, instead of having a rotating claw, has electric projectiles that it will shoot at you, and if he hits, you're going to get this electric aura around your screen. It's going to damage you, and also mean the zombies have a better chance of hitting you as well. It's annoying, but I don't think he's as powerful as the one from Origins, so we're just going to move him to the side. The Panzer, unlike the Magwar, actually can't be distracted, so you can't throw a monkey bomb or anything like that, and he's going to chase it. He first appears on round 8, and in solo, after killing him, he's then going to return every 4 to 5 rounds, which is annoying. It's hard enough killing him, as it is, never mind having to do it every other round, whilst it's getting more and more difficult to kill. But I would say it's possibly even worse on multiplayer, where you can have multiple of them spawn at once, and they'll also come a lot quicker. Instead of every four to five rounds, it's probably every three to four. This guy has a hell of a lot of armor, so he's not easy to kill. Obviously, you're not going to take him out with a starting weapon or a weapon that's close to the starting room. An MP40 on the lower round should do the trick, but then on the higher rounds, you're definitely going to want to get a pack-a-punched weapon or even one of the staffs. But really, even though he's He's got a lot of armor. He's not actually the most difficult boss to kill. He's hard, I would say, when you get on those medium to high rounds, but admittedly, he's not the most difficult. He's just more annoying. If you can dodge his attacks and then shoot him at the right time, you might, and I'm saying that very skeptically, um, maybe be okay. However, when you do kill the Panzer, it is going to be a little bit rewarding. Not only is the first one going to drop you a piece to the fire staff, so you pretty much have to kill him in order to get the fire staff, but every time you kill a Panzer on solo, you're going to get yourself a power up as well. So it could lead you to a max ammo, an insta kill, a nuke, something like that. So you may find yourself actually wanting a Panzer sometimes, maybe when you're out of ammo on your Reagan or 
whatever. So there is the Panzer Soldat, but what about the Morgwar? Well, the Morgwar is, of course, an Apothecan. We get our first encounter of him in Shadows of Evil, and he is this big beast with three heads and many tentacles that he uses for his attack. The Morgwar has two different attacks. The first one is his swipe, in which he's going to swipe you with his tentacles. This one's not too bad, whereas it's only going to do the same damage as a regular zombie hit. But his more powerful one, where he slams himself on the ground, is enough to down you in one if you don't have Jug. What the Morgwar can do, which the Panzer can't, is teleport. So if you get too far away from him, he's just going to teleport next to you, behind you, in front of you. You really don't know where he's going to go until it's pretty much too late. Whereas the Panzer can pretty much much keep up with your speed so he's just gonna run after you and not stop until that freaking guy wins. The Morgwar though can be distracted. You can throw a little Arnie on the ground and he will go after it and try to destroy it. So that's a way of keeping him away for a few seconds. Whereas like I said, you can't do that with the Panzer. He's fully focused on you. You could say though that it's arguably more difficult or maybe not difficult, but more annoying to take out the Morgwar. Whereas you can shoot the Panzer sold out whenever you want. With the Morgwar, you can only attack him at certain times. Since he has three heads and you can only shoot him when he opens his mouth. When he opens his mouth, he has this yellow glow inside, and that is your only way to attack him. If you shoot him on the body or anywhere else, he has that much armor that it won't damage him, so this is the only way you can do it. And like I said, it can only happen when he opens his mouth, and he does this one at a time. Meaning it may well take longer to kill this guy, and you have to do it when he's ready. Which can be frustrating. You've got to wait for a time when you're away from the zombies, and then you've got to shoot him when he's ready, which can be frustrating. However, it is pretty easy to take out one of his heads once his mouth is eventually open but it is going to take some time when you do take off one of his heads he's then going to get angry so whereas he starts off on walking pace and it's not difficult to avoid him he's then going to start running this is going to cause the whole screen to shake and also means he's a hell of a lot faster he can pretty much keep up with you so after this you're going to want to take him down quickly so this doesn't go on for too long obviously also just make sure you don't get cornered as well in shadows of evil it's very easy to get cornered with the Morgwar, and then there's going to be no good outcome for you. But when you do kill this guy, he is going to drop you his heart, which is a part that you need to build the Apothecary Servant. And he's also going to give you 500 points for taking off each of his heads, so 1500 points for killing him's not too bad. However, just like the Panzer, you can get multiple of these guys at once, so um, good, um, good luck. I don't know if I'd rather have multiple Panzers or multiple Morgwars. I mean, um... Yeah, I, I actually don't know. Even though we're not going to be comparing these in the head-to-head, -head, there's also the Element Morgwar, or the Void Morgwar, and the Fire Morgwar as well. The Red Fire one has a unique slam attack, which causes a blast of fire to pursue the player in a straight column. So if you're anywhere in front of him, his slam attack can get you from long range, unlike the normal one. However, it's not actually that effective as it's quite slow. It's really easy to dodge, and you can just simply move out the way since it travels in a straight line. But if it does manage to hit you it can be quite devastating so you have to avoid that the fire morgwar can also ignite zombies around it making them explode upon death so that's another thing you have to watch out for as well and then like i said there's also the purple morgwar or the void element morgwar which again has a slightly different slam attack in which it produces a portal or a void and that makes skulls come out of it and chase and attack the player similar to the void bow from drys and dracker i would say this one's slightly more difficult than the fire morgwar since you might not be able to outrun the the blast, but you can shoot the skulls that are chasing you before they hit you. Both of these Morgwars, just like the original one, which I actually forgot to mention, do spawn a parasite when its head is destroyed, so just look out for that. But like I said, even though these fire and element Morgwars are annoying, they're really not that much worse than the normal one that we're comparing in Shadows of Evil. So anyway, that's comparing both the Morgwar and the Panzer Soldat and what they do against us. But what about if the Panzer and the Morgwar came face to face in a fight who would win? Well, honestly, that's a really tough decision. The Morgwar can use his tentacles to hit the Panzer Soldat. He could hit his armor off him, but how would the Panzer Soldat attack the Morgwar? We know that he can't be damaged from his body. You can only attack him when his mouth's open. I suppose the reason for that is just because he's got that much armor. And the Panzer only has a flamethrower and a grappling hook. I doubt he's going to be able to grab the Morgwar with his hook, and so that just leaves his flamethrower. I don't really think fire is going to be effective against the armor 
of the Magua. Also, the Magua can teleport away. Whereas, yes, the Panzer has effectively a jetpack, he can fly, but that's not as quick and not as efficient as teleportation. The Panzer, I guess, does have the advantage of long range using his claw. The Magua's tentacles can't get that far, but if you think about it, who's gonna win? A zombie in armor or a giant freaking apothecan with three heads and tentacles? that can teleport. I honestly think in a fight against the Panzer, the Magua would win. But in a fight against us, I think the Panzer's more difficult to kill. He's more of an annoying boss. He takes more bullets. Yes, you can shoot him whenever you want, but admittedly, the Panzer is a hell of a lot more annoying than the Magua. I think they're both freaking cool. They both look really awesome. But for me, if they're going head to head, if there was a fight between the Panzer and the Magua, the Magua would win. But if it's a fight between us and the Panzer or the Magua, well, the Panzer would win in a fight against us. But of course, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. If you have enjoyed this video, if you found it interesting, or if it's entertaining you guys, make sure you drop a like rating. Let me know if you would like to see more of these in the comment section below. And if so, leave your boss first boss down below below. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest summers videos on the channel. Click the bell notification icon as well. Drop a like rating and of course we'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, goodbye.